Merry Christmas, Octave, to you in the Daily Word. Hi, Happy New Year, and it is Father Barry in the Daily Word, and on this January 1st, we get to a Saturday in our week, and we've been going through this Christmas time, and now we have uh, a day to Our Lady, uh, our Mother of the Lord, uh, used to be called the Circumcision Feast, because on this day, the Lord was circumcised, his name given, Yeshua, or Jesus, and and of course, um, we all begin a new year praying for peace, so we think Our Lady, our our helper of peace, uh, we pray that she can uh, bring us help in this new 2022. Uh, I'd like to do a, a blessing uh, with amen as your answer, this four amens. On this New Year's Day, um, feast of mother of God may God who through the childbearing of the blessed Virgin Mary will in his great kindness to redeem the human race be pleased to enrich you with his blessing amen may you know always and everywhere the protection of her Mary through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life amen may you who have devoutly uh, celebrated this Christmas octave. Carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards of this season and of this day of Mary, we pray. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. And a blessing of this new day to you and the the scripture for the mass often includes that blessing from the book of numbers may the lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace okay so that's where i took the blessing from and uh so happy new year to you and we think of uh of the holy family still in bethlehem and mary and joseph probably now are settled into a house and they're uh, Joseph we think had a brother or two in in Bethlehem so now they're able to go and uh, take residence in a house and the crowds for the census are gone and now things are just quiet for a while Mary's supposed to wait till the 40th day before she goes out and, and associates with everybody again so they wait for that and then they have plans they're making plans let's go to Jerusalem and dedicate this child to the temple we're only a few miles away and we have some family that'll go with us and the mystery of this child well there's a lot of people talking the shepherds and what they saw and um, the townsfolk and the Micah prophecy that this Prince of Peace be born but as a child Isaiah's prophecy, the virgin shall bear a child. Hmm. So all that's going on right now in Bethlehem. Just think of that and with their plans to go to Jerusalem. That will be on the 40th day, and that's what we call the Feast of the Presentation. So that comes up uh, later uh, as we roll along. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and uh, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Bye. Hey there, I have completed the day-to-day -day with St. Joseph program on this website, YouTube video spot. I am pondering what will be my newest project, but need a little break for, for some time to get that idea and to see it through. Our daily word program, I intend to keep it going, but I'm be switching phones. Uh, I've been taping this on my old phone and I am going to an iPhone 
Pro 13. And I really am um, not sure how easy or hard it's going to be to make these programs on that. So you may have a delay of some time before I get back up. I uh, just wanted to say that to you, but it's been enjoyable all through 2020. Uh, presenting uh, daily videos to you right here on our website. Trying to keep you going in the word and helping to inspire you to live out your faith. This is Father Barry.